So on guys back to another video in the channel we are doing another match preview and this time we are doing the Pep versus Mikel part 3 whatever you want to call it Manchester City versus Arsenal at the Etihad Stadium and it you know promises to be a very good game once again as both teams are going into this looking pretty good to be honest and obviously Arsenal securing the signing of Thomas Partey who we will be talking not talking about but I've put together a 40 odd second montage at the end of this video to show, show his photo reel um, I put that together from the Arsenal website so all credits go to them and I've also recreated the intro um, the in, his announcement video I've done a little bit of a twist on that myself so it's the last 46 seconds of the video for that but I do want to get straight into uh, the match preview for this game Manchester City versus Arsenal a huge game for both clubs obviously uh, Mikel Arteta is going back to the Etihad Stadium for the second time now in a few months uh, obviously we played Manchester City as we came back from a lockdown project restart uh, we lost 3-0 I think good reason for losing 3-0 because we did pick up two injuries uh, in the first 20 minutes to key pl key places in our side we know you know we lost uh, Granit Xhaka in our midfield and then we lost Pablo Marie he was actually playing quite well in my opinion so you know losing players down the spine which is where I think Arteta wanted to set up and wanted to beat Manchester City it just wasn't to be for Arsenal and uh, we did however get our revenge as we did play them in the Car uh, in the FA Cup sorry uh, we beat them 2-0 very comfortable win for us playing really well defending really well and we beat Manchester City Aubameyang getting two goals in that game en route to winning the FA Cup eventually beating Chelsea 2-1 in the final but in this game it's going to be a whole different kettle of fish uh, obviously Etihad Stadium Manchester City's ground Pep Guardiola will know that Mikel Arteta you know he's going to be on him you know because even Pep knew if Arsenal didn't get those two injuries at the Etihad he wasn't going to be playing sailing because I thought Pablo Marie look good in the first 20 minutes he looks like he's going to come back from injury very soon but i don't think he'll be quite ready for this game as he's just come back to full training we'll get into the team news in a bit but overall um you know it's gonna be a hard game isn't it it has to be you know playing for, uh, playing out from the back uh, you have to be you know a counter-attacking football uh, parking the bus it's not something you want to see every day we did play liverpool before um before um the international break and again it wasn't the greatest performance you know we kept ourselves in the game that's probably the only positive you take out from that looking back on it and i do think we need to bounce back really well from that performance and hopefully we i think we can win this i'm positive about this game because i think manchester city they don't look the greatest side they're not unbeatable if you call that then you know that they, they are a team that can be beat they lost nine or ten premier league games last season uh you know they're a team that can be beat and i think arsenal and Mikel arteta he can pull something out the bag with abamyang obviously uh, with the new threat we've got down the right hand side william i wouldn't necessarily play him we'll go into the um the my predicted lineup or my lineup as you'll call it uh, in a bit but for now i think i want to look at a bit more at manchester city and a weakness that we could exploit maybe down the middle with kevin De Bruyne not being there I think that will give us a bit of an aid he is a major doubt for the game against Arsenal whether he will play whether he will not play I can't speak for that um, but again it will be a good thing you know obviously it's not a good thing celebrating injuries I know it's not but we have to use these kind of things to advantage especially when you're playing one of the top two teams in the country right now which is Manchester City and uh, you know um, yeah I think we have a chance in this game uh, and that leads us straight on to the team news for this game as I said Pablo Marie he is returning to full training and I don't think he'll be ready for this game against Manchester City but certainly you know he's a player that Mikel Arteta definitely likes he started him in that game after project restart and he's a player that you know Arteta does like and I won't be surprised if he uses him Callum Chambers he is now at, um, back in full training after the international break and he's progressing well and now integrating into first team sessions so we could be seeing Callum Chambers very soon I don't think this game against Manchester City will be one of them though uh, next one Pablo Marie as I said he is back to he's coming back into full training now Gabriel Martinelli we did get an update for him a few days ago or yesterday or something like that we got an update from Martinelli he is progressing well and he aims to be back before the end of this uh uh calendar year yeah calendar year and uh, with Squadron Mustafi, he again is similar situation as Pablo Marie. He is, you know, looking to get back into full training now in the next couple of days. And hopefully, you know, he will give us another option in that centre back area. Now, all these centre backs are coming back from these injuries and Saliba as well, because it looks like he'll be staying. There's quite a bit of debacle with Saliba, whether he was going out alone, whether he was not going out alone. But now it looks like he will be staying ahead of that Friday um, national deadline for the transfer window to do transfers within the EFL. And uh, again he'll give us 
another option in that centre back area. Squadron Mustafi coming back now will give us another option on that sort of right side side of centre back where Rob Holding has been filling in uh, for the last few weeks since uh, the league resumed in September. So moving straight into the predicted lineup now, starting eleven, my start eleven, whatever you want to call this, and uh, let's get straight into it. In goal, Burnt Leno. Really, no more question about it. He played quite well in the Sheffield United game. Played quite well in the Liverpool Carabao Cup game. He has been playing quite well recently, so I think obviously you go with him. Runnison, I do want to see him soon, soon enough. Maybe the uh, maybe the um, Europa League games is a perfect opportunity for him. Even though maybe I think Burnt Leno will play maybe the first two or three and then maybe um, Runison plays the last two or three but I definitely want to see Runison very soon but obviously for this game against Manchester City I will be going with Bernd Leno moving into the back three I'll be sticking with I'll be sticking with the one I think Arteta has played the most and that includes playing uh, Gabriel on that left sided centre back I think on the screen it's a bit mixed but yeah you, it, the players are there and uh, Gabriel I think why do you not play at Anfield against Liverpool I really want to see him in one of these big big games away from home in the league see, see what he's really made of you know what sort of steel is Gabriel really made of you know he did win our September player of the month big congrats to him you know it's his first month in the Premier League from um, uh, Liga. you know it's not an easy league to adapt to the Premier League especially French players not easy for them but uh, Gabriel has done really well and I think you know this Manchester City game will be a huge test of his abilities to see how we can really perform in the big league and uh, yeah moving into the centre back I will be going with David Luiz now again I will not um, very surprising I'm putting David Luiz in this team especially after what he did the last time we visited the Etihad yeah that was not great was it um, everyone was calling for his neck basically but you know he did sort of redeem himself in that semi-final of the FA Cup where he did play and played really well I thought he was probably one of our man of the match performance from him in that game a lot of players played well in that game but I think he stood out in that defensive area staying alert and I think we'll need that again in this game on the right side of centre back I'll be going with Rob Holding you know a lot of people it's a bit of a mixed bag with Rob Holding in his terms of his thoughts like you know whether he's playing well or not I think he's doing all right he's a decent center back and I think for now he's doing the job obviously going forward maybe we need someone else there Pablo Marie Scott Drew Mustafi maybe you sign someone else but for now I'll be going with Rob Holding now going into the wing back areas first of all on the right hand side obviously Hector Bellerin uh, Arteta don't really like playing Cedric in the league or he doesn't doesn't really like playing Maitland Niles on the right hand side in the league either so have to be Hector Bellerin he's been playing all right in the last few weeks I will admit that but again Again, he needs to step up his game you know he needs to keep consistency because I think that's one thing Bellerin is not good at and I did really cast him after that uh, Liverpool game uh, Anfield uh, in the league but after that he's played all right and I think um, hopefully he can do better in this game because he will really get exposed if he's not on it today or not today but Saturday when we're playing Man City on that left hand side versus uh, Raheem Sterling down that left hand side for Manchester City uh, moving on to the left wing back again this is a very sticky one I don't really know the situation with Kieran Tierney at the moment uh, with what's happened with uh, Armstrong, you know, with on, on international duty with Scotland, the corona thing, but he's isolating, not isolating. The rules are so different because he's in Scotland means the rules are different there that, that, that there are in England. So um, I'll be going with two options. It'll either be Kieran Tierney or, as you can see on the screen, Bukayo Saka. Uh, Bukayo Saka, I think he, you know, he uh, picked up his first uh, England cap uh, for uh, England in the international break and obviously got his first Emirates goal away at home sorry uh, to Sheffield United and hopefully maybe that confidence can be brought into this game against Manchester City that energy will be needed and that left wing back row will be very suited to him and with Gabriel supporting I, I see no reason why he can't, can't slot in there and do a very good job for us in a you know probably a winning side that could be Manchester City who knows I don't know um, but yeah moving on let's go into the midfield now first of all I'm going to go with Danny Ceballos Danny Ceballos is going to I think he'll play in this game I think Mikel Arteta does like him a lot and I'm going to put him next to our new signing, Thomas Partey. Now, you may be thinking, he's just come back um, from in international duty. His first game he played on international duty, he played number 10 against Mali, I think it was. And he did pretty rubbish. And then in the second one against Qatar, he did well and got two assists. I'm not going to get giddy about doing well against Qatar I want you to do well against Manchester City away from home on a Saturday night that's where I want to see Partey be getting involved hopefully he does uh, Mikel Arteta has a good confidence of just throwing in players into a game you know he did that with Gabriel in the first game against uh, Fulham it was in the league and I think he could do that again in this game uh, throw Partey in make, give him a good test of the league he's an experienced world class player he surely be able to fit in straight away who knows uh, they both speak fluent Spanish as well it could be very good for them as a 
partnership going forward and that's why I'm going to go with Danny Sabas and uh, Thomas Partey. Sabas can, you know, because Partey's so good defensively, it will allow Sabas to go forward and be more creative, which will allow us to create more chances. Ideally, you want someone like OR there, but, you know, we have to deal with who we have. And uh, we go up front to the three forwards. I'm going to change it slightly up, but uh, you'll find out in a bit. On the left-hand side, I'll go with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Obvious, no doubts there. He did really well last time he played City in the FA Cup. So hopefully he can continue with that, that sort of form against Manchester City into this one. Up front as a main striker, Alakazet. Um, he, he didn't play against uh, Sheffield United. He got benched for some reason. He played, you know, he scored, what, two or three goals now. And for some reason, he got benched. Um, I didn't really get all that one, to be honest. Um, but uh, Atleti likes and Ketia, and we move on. But in this game, against Man City, I'll go for Lacazette. I think he'll be very useful. Again, dropping into the midfield. I don't really like players doing that. But again, because we've not got that out-and-out -out attacking midfielder sort of player, I think we'll need him to drop back to lay off the likes of Aubameyang and play through the middle and channel it out wide. So yeah, Lacazette down the middle. On the right-hand side, I'm going to go with Nicola Pepe. Now, you might think, you know, why not go with Willian, who's I've been picking in my starting lineups, and that's what um, Arteta has been going with. But I'll give Pepe the shout here because, you know, just before the break, scored a goal against Sheffield United it was very unlucky the international break came at the wrong time because you know he was you know getting into a bit of form uh, but unlucky and hopefully I want to see him start this game I want to see Arteta put a bit of trust into him in this game and hopefully Pepe does end up starting this game for us but yeah that is it for my predicted lineup for this game against Manchester City it will be a huge game and a huge test for Mikel Arteta and his team where they are uh, for me I think at the, at the Etihad, you know, I'll take a draw. I want to win, but I'll take a draw as well. Hopefully, we don't get uh, smacked and get our ass sent back to us in the 3 0 loss. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. But again, I always keep my hopes up high for this Man City game. But again, they always keep getting knocked back to me and handed to me on a plate. I don't want that to happen again. But yeah, leave your thoughts and predicted lineup and predicted score in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you, do you think Party will start in this game? Do you think Taney will play somehow? I don't know about that. But yeah, leave, if you know any information about that leave that in the comment section down below and uh you hopefully you can enjoy this party compilation i put together see you guys in the next one